What's up guys? Welcome back. It's your girl Jazz and I'm super excited to be doing another comparison video between the Under Armour True Wireless Flash X versus Project Rock, which is the Rock's version of the True Wireless X. Pretty much, I've already done an individual review on each of these, so if you want to see a little bit more on the specs of it, um, you can see the individual reviews, which are going to be below in the description. But again, we're just going to be doing kind of a quick run through on the comparisons between the two Under Armour earbuds. I do want to also let you guys know that since these are Under Armour, even though they are JBL earbuds, they do not have any type of affiliation with the JBL Connect app. So there's no apps for either one of these earbuds because they are with Under Armour as the headliner versus JBL being the headliner, if that makes sense to you guys. So right off the bat, they have very, 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 very similar traveling cases. Um, the Rocks is obviously the silver one, has more of a durability to it. Um, kind of has more of a little bit of a rugged look to it versus the Flash X version. So we got a different clip to them. I actually like the Rocks version better just because it gives a little bit more of a security to it. So you can easily lock in and not, if you're like me and you're very clumsy, I can easily see myself playing with the clip and accidentally clipping it, losing them. Goodbye earbuds. But with this, at least I have some security because like I said, I can screw on this little piece right here. So that way it prevents me from even opening it. Although it's kind of pointless if I'm still unscrewing it and opening the clip. <laughs> but um, like I said, at least you're having a clip to hold on to, you know, maybe your gym bag or your water bottle, which I've done with a couple of uh, earbuds. Um, you don't have that option with the Flash X version. So the design of the earbud case is very, very similar with the exception of the colors on it. So even on the bottom end of it however you want to look at the side of it um, they both have the type c charging ports on the front they also have four little lights that'll tell you how far it's charged up as far as the case goes and opening them up like i said very similarly and the main difference between the earbuds itself just strictly looking at it is that the wireless the True Wireless Flash X version has the U8 for Under Armour versus the uh, Project Rock version. It has the infamous bullhead on it. Um, and these both versions of these have the Under Armour Storm waterproof version on it. I've tried looking numerous times to figure out exactly what is Under Armour Storm. And with the exception of finding it related to clothes... I didn't really find anything that had to deal with the earbuds and how and the and the waterproofness of it. <laughs> they both are IPX7. It's not the highest, but it's just one above the highest waterproof level. And since it does have Under Armour stormproof technology on it, you don't have to worry about, you know, damaging as long as it's as long as it's less than 30 minutes and above one meter of water. So it has to be if it's a meter or less underwater. So pretty much swimming with it. This morning I actually washed my hair and I didn't want to wake anybody else in the house up. So I decided to listen to my music using my earbuds. And I literally took an entire shower with wearing the earbuds. Washing my hair had absolutely no problem with it. Although... I will say they do have let water, a little bit of water in. So I have a little bit of water in my ear. Um, but I'm pretty sure if I would have changed out the tip of it to a little bit of a larger tip, it may have had a little bit more of a seal to it so I don't have to worry about the water getting to my ear. But other than that, I was dancing in the shower, having my own little party, personal party. Didn't have any issues whether it with the connectivity or... Um, or any like the water messing with the earbuds whatsoever so and like I said I did have soap get onto the earbuds a little bit they still work just fine um, for a second there I actually thought that maybe one of the earbuds may have gone out no just water in my ear 
As far as the battery life goes, both of them have the same battery life for them. They, the case and the earbuds have a total of 50 hours worth of charge time. So um, just one charge on the earbuds alone can have 10 hours of talk streaming time on average. Of course, if you're, you know, doing a little bit more with it, it may wear it out just a little bit quicker, but you still have four more charges using the case as long as the case is fully charged. So you have a total of 50 hours of listening time with them. And that's for both of the earbuds as well. Both of them have technology of what they call the bio hearing technology. And it's two steps with it. The first one is called talk through, which is great if you're maybe in the gym or if you need to pay attention a little bit more to your surroundings. So that way you're not literally blocking out the entire world. So maybe if you're just walking to the store or something like that, like I said, you need to be a little bit more aware of your sounding with the talk through. It's going to drop the music or streaming, whatever you're listening to. It's going to drop the volume to that. And that way you can hear a little bit more of your surroundings. And then the second version of that is the ambient aware. And that's pretty much where you can tune out the whole world. I, I actually was listening to the music with the ambient aware. And if somebody were to, you know, knock on the door, come in, whatever the case was, I would have never known. Um, with the shower, you know, the shower curtain closed, everything like that in my own little world, I would have not known that anybody had come in with the ambient aware now you're able to it's not going you're able to control that as far as whether you want to go from your talk through or your ambient aware so like I said if you're at the gym and you see somebody's trying to talk to you and you have the ambient aware on without having to connect to an app or anything like that you're just going to use your left earbud and click on the center logo whether it be the under armor or the bullhead on the left earbud and that's going to change between your ambient aware and your talk through. Now the right earbud is where you're going to control your music as far as changing it, you know, playing, pausing, next song or go back and that's just a matter of how many times you push the middle symbol. Pretty much there's a lot of a lot of similarities between these two earbuds. As far as the standalone like to the cases almost identical with the exception of the color, a little bit of the design, and the earbuds with the logo on it. The main difference that I've noticed between these two earbuds is that Project Rock comes with an extra earbud case, so if you don't want to carry this big thing around, you've got a second case to carry them around in, which I'm actually kind of surprised this, oh, never mind, there it goes. I was wondering to know, I was curious to know where was the rocks logo on it because i do see kind of right here it's etched a little bit where it has the ua for under arm on it and so i'm like where is the bull head where is something it's on the inside it has blood sweat and respect which is the rocks motto for project rock so if you don't want to carry around the clunky as i've heard people call it a uh, carrying case which to me is just durable uh, but if you don't want to carry that around, you've got this little itty bitty case, which I'm not too huge of a fan on because I don't have anything to connect it. There's not a little string that I can, you know, connect it to a water bottle or something like that. And I can easily see myself dropping this at opening and there goes my earbuds all over the ground. Just my personal opinion. I love you rock, but, um, yeah. Oh, another difference before I forget, the wingtip on the rock specifically states, and it's even on the box right here, antibacterial. I have no way of proving whether it is 100% antibacterial or it's not. Um, I don't have any type of kit to be able to test it out or anything like that compared to the Flash X version. I mean, honestly, they look identical without the logo. I could easily interchange these and never know which set goes to which without the logo, to be honest with you. I know, Rock, you personally chose me to review your earbuds. In my head, because <laughs> we have that kind of, you know, craziness or telekinesis or what, what's the word I'm looking Chaos in my head. 
y'all know I'm a little crazy if you've seen any of my other videos. If this is your first video, I apologize for you seeing me. Okay, no, I don't. Just get used to it. <laughs> That's part of the reason why you guys come to my channel, right? For the cry, for the, you never know what's going to come out of my mouth at the time I don't either. Really, before I'm starting the video, I'm like, what are you going to talk about? I don't know. Every single video. I have no idea. I'm just going to wing it. <laughs> so, if my videos aren't always the smoothest, you guys know why. Because, like I said, this is, I I'm not even sure if this is going to get edited out of the video either. <laughs> I've never seen any of my videos. So, you guys get to see me in a way that, yeah, the whole, the rest of the world gets to see me on an everyday basis. <laughs> uh, but as far as the differences, the main difference that I've noticed between the two earbuds is the logo, a little bit of the coloration on the case or the coloring and the extra case that comes with the Project Rock as well as the antibacterial wing tips or ear tips, however you want to call them. Outside of that, they both come with a 12 month membership with uh, Under Armour Map My Run is what the app's called. Both of them come with a 12 month membership a one year subscription membership, however you want to call it, um, to Under Armour's Map My Run. And I think that's about it. Now, they both sound great, earbuds. For me, what's going to make the difference on which one that I purchase is going to be the cost. Because, like I said, outside of the sound, a little bit of extra case, it all comes down to the almighty dollar, right? Flash X is running at 170 with holiday specials. There's no telling how much lower it can go. I believe, if I recall correctly, I seen it about Black Friday, about 150, 160. I could be wrong on that, quoting me. And Project X runs about $200. And again, that's standard price. But for the Black Friday, I think it only went down $10 to like 180. You're going to get a bigger discount with the Under Armour Flash X version versus Project Rock. And I hate to say this, as much as I love you, Rock. DJ, I'm sorry. You know, like I said, we have that kind of connection. <laughs> I know he's going to call me soon and fuss at me, but I got to be real with you guys. The Flash X version is going to be your better deal. And I hate to say that. Y'all look, he's already me mugging me. He, 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 sent, he personally sent this picture because he knew I was, he was going to look at me crazy. <laughs> at the corner of my eye as I'm doing the video and he's kind of like really like you're gonna talk about me like that I gotta keep it real with with the with my fans sorry rock I love you and all but um I'm cheap so if I had to choose I would definitely choose with the flash x um just because of the the price point on it is going to be significantly more you get more bang for your buck versus Project Rock. So if you want to save a few dollars, that's the version you're going to go with. Hey, but if you want to splurge, support The Rock, I'm all for it. Obviously, I did. Um, but either way, they're both great earbuds. Have no issue with them. Connectivity was, once I got my phone working, it's easy to connect as well. Um, if you have any questions, I'll be more than happy to answer. I hope I did justice on these even though I know the rock is you know give me that crazy look on the corner from the corner of my eye but um yes if you have any questions please let me know make sure that you subscribe to Jazzy Reviews as well as my other YouTube channel Jazzy Foods in the meantime stay tuned and stay jazzy thanks for watching guys